So I got the SNES Mini today in the mail. Didn't really plan on getting one since I have the pies with all this stuff. But uh, it's become kind of a collector's item. So I figured I'd pick one up. Pretty cool. Has a lot of uh, my favorite games here. Obviously the Mario. And it does have Street Fighter, which is my all-time favorite probably on the SNES. So here it is. It's pretty small. Here's a comparison with the remote. Now the remote is actually the same size as the original SNES. So as you can see, it's 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 a small unit. It's pretty cool. Got power, reset, eject button does nothing really. It's all fake. It feels very light, as you'd expect. HDMI, power. Looks like the remote's just plug in down here. It's kind of weird, but it has these proprietary ports, I guess. So, I know a lot of people complain about the, the length of the wire on the, uh, the, the mini NES, which I, didn't, I don't even have, but so this is just to compare. This is the just a normal USB um, SNES remote, and the wires they look to be exactly the same, exactly the same length. So I guess I don't know if the NES is smaller or what, but these seem fine to me. Nice. Anyway, here's how I got it, because I know a lot of people are scrambling. Um, so I heard about this app, I'll show you again, called the Tracker. So the way, it works, the way it works is, it kind of lists, I guess, things that are sold out or people are trying to get. And what you do is, you click Notify Me, and I guess it looks at some of these sites, Walmart, Target, GameStop, and it'll give you a notification when it's available. And you just click it and go to it. So it does give you a lot of uh, false alarms. Um, but ye, the other day, and actually has here in the history, on 929, it actually popped up. It said it was available at GameStop. So I thought, you know what, I'll order it. Uh, which I did. I figured I'd mess with it. Or give it out as a gift or something. Um, so far, so cool. So good pretty cool the tracker I'll put a link to it I hook it up and check it out so here it is next to my nest by case very small see next to the ps4 uh, reset I think the only way to get back at the menu is to hit reset, which is kind of annoying, but comes with 21 games. So I was gonna leave it alone. <clears throat> but I was just reading and apparently it's very easy to hack per se to play whatever ROMs you want because there are some games that I'd like to have on here um, you know NBA Jam, Mortal Kombat I can think of a few so I think I'm going to give it a shot it doesn't seem that hard it's a program called Hackchi2 doesn't seem too bad. I'm gonna give it a shot.